Chino hands it off, and again it's Blackshear. Blackshear inside the 10, the 5, touchdown Rutgers. George goes high and intercepted. Third and 19. Oh, he's got it. Rashino with Blackshear down the sideline. Blackshear, touchdown. Our football with Chris Ash rolls on. Chris, is it day one of 2018 now? Uh, absolutely. As soon as uh, you know the clock hit zero uh, right away, we're looking at next year and what we have to do to develop our players and develop our schemes and, and go recruiting. We're going to hit the road recruiting right away. And um, you know, it's all about next year right now. Recruitment is so vital. Is it starting with Jersey and working outwards? Yeah, it's starting with finding players that can play in the Big Ten. Uh, and there, that, that begins here in the tri-state area with New Jersey, New York, Eastern Pennsylvania. There's so many good players here in this area. Uh, but we got to make sure we get Big Ten caliber players that fit our style, that fit our uh, chemistry and our culture. That's what's so important. It's not just about going out and finding talented players. It's guys that we can develop, we can trust, and, and want to really work really hard to uh, be as good as they can be. To me, that means improving size and speed. Yeah. It sounds simple, yeah. but it's not always so easy. No, you know, you, you, sometimes it's, it's fool's gold just to get size and speed. Again, yeah. just a lot of it is about their heart and, and how much they love the game of football, too. We need size, we need speed, but we also need guys that love the game of football. How important is it to identify the quarterback for this program? Uh, very, it's everything, you know, but uh, right now where we're at uh, with our quarterback position, it's going to be a battle in the offseason. We've got to develop guys, and that's what, what it is. And we've got to find out what their strengths and weaknesses are and what they can do, and be successful at, and, and uh, give them an opportunity to go do that. Does it come back to the quarterback and the offensive line in your mind? Uh, everything starts there. I mean, uh, if you're going to build a program, uh, there's, I've never been a part of a program that didn't have a really good offensive line and a good quarterback play and a good defensive line. Uh, it's got to start up front, and you've got to have a good quarterback. You get those three things in place, and then you feel pretty good about your chances. Come on, come on, come on, keep coming. You know that. Hey, it wasn't fun to have a multitude of injuries this year, but the positive is you've got 18 of 22 starters back. A lot of guys with experience. That's something to build on. Absolutely. The fact that we were able to win more Big Ten games uh, this year, uh, and we got so many players coming back, that's that's a silver lining uh, in this season uh, of so many injuries. I mean, we'll get a lot of guys back, and, and we'll develop, and we'll have a great off season. Uh, we'll continue to find out what they can and can't do, and make sure that we're developing our offense and defense and special teams around that. And we're going to continue to move forward and, and make more progress next year. What's your message to the players? Because the work, the hard work. That begins right now, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it never really ends, uh, to be honest with you. In college football, the way the rules are, uh, it never ends. You, you, you work really hard during the season, you get a little bit of a break for Christmas break, but then you start back up and, and you just grind. You go through the off-season workouts, spring ball, then you get a little break before summer, and then you're in summer training camp. It's just a cycle that never ends. You know, we have four to five years to try to help our players be as good as they can be. It's a very small window. It takes, there's a lot that goes into it, and it takes a lot of effort by a lot of people to get that done, and uh, it just never ends, and that's where we're at. Chris Ash is an intense guy, but can you take a little bit of a break here during the holidays and enjoy the family? <laughs> I got a birthday on the uh, 24th of December, and oh, then it's Christmas uh, uh, the 25th, so maybe we, we'll get to there. We got a lot of recruiting to do and a lot of development needed to do, and that's just it's college football. That's what you do as a coach. You know, you get through the season, and it's go, go, go recruiting, and uh, everybody in the country does it. That's what you sign up to do, and I love it. And, uh, you know, this is a really important time for our program. So are you anxious to put the pants back on and go right to practice? No, I'm, I'm anxious to get our guys in the weight room uh, more so than anything to get into our off-season program. I really love our strength staff and the physical development we've made with a lot of guys from year one to year two has been remarkable. We've got to do the same from year two to year three. and That's really what I'm looking forward to is watching our guys continue to grow mentally and physically in our off-season program uh, before we put the pads back on. We've got a lot of work to do. Happy early birthday, Coach. It's been great working with you this year. No, I, I really appreciate you guys and the coverage you give us, and I uh, look forward to next year. That's it for this edition and this season of Our Football with Chris Ash. I guess we'll see you next year.